Hi, I'm Sammy Marsh, interviewing for Tungsten Tales. I've got Dave Chisnell with me. Hi, Dave. Hi. So obviously, I'm going to talk about last night, Judgment Night. Didn't go as planned. Didn't get the point you needed. Obviously, it's 7-5 against Peter Wright. How are you obviously feeling about that now? I'm yeah, feeling disappointed. But it's not just over one night, it's over the seven of the games I did lose. Well, I could have got a few points, but... It wasn't just over my game last night, it was over Nott Fortin as well, but he lost. But if I had got a point or one, you don't know if I want to turn up and play a little bit better, so... It's all ifs and buts in this game, and last night wasn't meant to be for me. Right, so obviously, we on tour a lot with the players, has you got any best friends in the game? Yeah, I've got a few. Well, James as well, because I've practiced with him and that. Um, mostly, I just stick with the St. Helens boys, Steve Hutton and Mike Smith. Yeah, you always... they're, they're my mates, they've been my mates for years, so they're my really two mates. Do you like being on tour with him? Do you have a laugh after darts, you know, go and play pool? Not really, not with them two. Well, <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike don't really go out, go out like, but you get an afternoon, when I go play pool, it's just to do with everything in the pub. I went with the, um, the Bristol boys a couple of weeks ago in Barnsley. I had a little bit of fun with them lots, so... That's all I can say. <laughs> so obviously, um, Dave, being obviously away from home all the time, you know, you've got the World Series coming up, and obviously match play, grand slam, all the big tournaments. Which is your favourite tournament to play in? Um, I do, I do like the uh, match play, the close to warm and that. Is it the format as well, the crowd? No, it's not. It's not the crowd. Crowds are all the same. I think crowds are less less crowd there, so. Only the format, yeah, it's first to ten, and it's like a steady format all the way through. And when you get, if you get to the quarter, it's 16, first to 16, and it gives you more of a chance to get through it. I've got to ask, is there anyone you look up to in darts? Myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't look up to anybody, I never have. Like, I can start playing darts late, late on in the years for myself, like 27, so. When, first, when darts first come out, I didn't even know, no, I didn't even, I wasn't even bothered about darts. I used to start bowling when I was like, when I turned 27, and that's how it's gone. Do you feel it, like when you stand on the stage and like thousands of people, like when you was at the O2 last year, what's the feeling? How do you feel when you're on there? Well, that was the first time I went on there, O2. That was probably one of the nervous game, nervous games I've ever had. But I played well, played well up there, so I don't really get that nervous. But when, when, when you're not, take it in your stride, eh? when, yeah, when you're not playing well. I do, I get a little bit nervous, I, get, I, get a little bit, I don't get nervous, I get sweaty. Yeah. And that's, it's no good for me sweating, it's sweatiness. <laughs> when I get sweaty, I can't throw darts. I can, but that means I'm nervous, if you know what I mean. Yeah. When I'm sweating, you know I'm nervous. Oh, well, thanks for that, Dave. No problem, cheers. <laughs>